Ladies and gentlemen, now today I have fully maxed out the red version of Gallant, and I thought we'd bring him into the mono red Escanor Nightmare that's known as Global PvP at the moment, and see if we can beat up some red Escanors, because Gallant kind of does two things to, uh, you know, somewhat counter um, and help to mitigate the red Escanor team. He can remove buffs, uh, but also his commandment makes it more annoying for Gotha as well. Because uh, if Gotha can't go straight into an Arthur Gold, then he's going to get petrified. However, here, we get to go first. And we get to use a Magical Golden buff. So I'm very, very happy about that. Um, so it's going to petrify our Gotha using this. But then it's going to instantly break him out. And this is exactly the play uh, that we don't want our opponent to have. Hopefully, people forget about Gallant's passive and, like, go for the double go for rank up. Because if they've got double go for rank up, then they're just going to, like, waste the second card. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I hope that happens, man. That'd be really, really good. Um, however, here, I think we can actually rush Gallant's ult next turn or attempt to rush it. There is, you know, the potential of Escanor draining. Um, but we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. So, he's going for Arthur. Gets petrified. It's just a silver buff there. I think... Did he waste a card? I, I think he might have mo uh, moved a card. So what we can actually do here, this is absolutely fantastic play on Gallon's behalf, uh, is we can remove buffs off Escanor and remove buffs um, off Arthur. And then I think... Do you want to attack Disable? Mm, not really. I think we just uh, then... Let's nuke into Escanor with um, Arthur. So yeah, we just instantly strip that man of his buffs. Same with Arthur as well. So yeah, not too bad. Then Escanor, he doesn't have that massive health buff. Like, the thing that makes him, like, so annoying at the start of the fight <laughs> is when he just has that crazy health buff, man. However, oh, next turn, next turn. We do some interesting stuff. Okay, I just, I want to go for this play, man, next turn. Just for everybody that's been, like, uh, annoyed by Escanor so far. This maybe this maybe is not the best play out there, but it's the one that I feel like is right at the moment. So let's go for upgrade on Gallant here, and then we're gonna merge the Shatter card. And this one at gold deals 450% of his attack as uh, damage that ignores resistance. So we fire that off onto Escanor. And he still doesn't die. I, th I thought that was going to be it. <laughs> I, was, I was like, 450%. You know, we got the freaking gold buffs. I thought that was going to be enough, man. Oh, mate. Because I know you got freaking, uh, what was it? You got gold buffs on Escanor, bro. You fire off the Amplify card. Like, everything's dead. Just everything's ruined. Um, but, yeah, we uh, did, didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to there. But, uh the match is not over yet, so... <laughs> the, the thing is, as well, about Gallant on this team, man, is that, um, you know, his his ult is going to give him buffs. But uh, th those are a little bit better than the Arthur ones. But from gold, he also gets... Um, uh, Arthur's gold, he also gets buffs as well. But I think we've got a... We ult the Escanor, right? So let me just double-check I did this uh, right. So we ult the Escanor, then we big Arthur the Gotha, and we, uh, we go for some nice little follow-up there. There we go, round two, Gallon's Revenge, nice. My uh, Gallon, also for reference, is uh, four out of six. I might have gone into the Escanor banner <laughs> again yesterday when I was getting a bit sweaty for Final Boss Merlin. Oh, okay, not too bad. Goes the drops as well. So Gallon, like, he's, uh, he, he's a decent enough unit. He's okay, but the thing is, in PvP, <laughs> the decent units... Don't tend to cut it too much anymore. You really want the the city city units that just absolutely obliterate everything. Uh, but I think like playing Gallon today, man, we're definitely gonna catch a few players off guard. Um, I'm not too sure if that's what happened uh, there, but yeah, we just had like the perfect start as well. The uh, the annoying thing about running Gallon um, is that if we have that start of like double go through upgrade then, uh, yeah, uh, we're not going to be able to take it. However, um, one thing that we can do as well is keep Escanor under a bit more um, uh, control with this team because we can strip buffs off Escanor um, and also attack Disable. However, that is that, that's the golden start right again, man. So I will happily take that one. Looks like we've got a, a player here. 
having a bit of a chuckle at myself for running Red Gallant. However, we are about to show him. Is this the same player we just fought? I'm not too sure if he's back for round two. Is this the same player or are we finding somebody a bit different? I can't believe we drew into um, exactly the same turn one play. Maybe he's learned some lessons and won't make the same mistakes this time. Oh no! Okay, so he's going to go straight into a gold buff there. The good news is we can uh, take this gold buff away. So I think we take it away from Big Daddy Escanor. I think we also take it away from Arthur. Because then we have uh, a chance to, um, what is it, get their last card to take it away from Gotha before he's too troublesome. But yeah, I think we just nuke, uh, do you want to nuke Big Daddy Escanor here? Let's get him down. Let's get him out of the picture. There we go. It does does feel like quite satisfying just stripping uh, <laughs> this team of its firepower. But I'm glad we are on the uh, the counterplay today. Oh, is that another card that strips away buffs? Okay, I think his natural inclination here is going to be like, well, I lost the buffs on Arthur and Escanor. I'm going to rush Ghost's ult. Maybe he's going to rush Escanor's ult. If he rushes Escanor's ult, that's still really bad news. <laughs> um... I see what he decides to go for here. Okay, so nuking into the um, the gallon, but he doesn't have buffs, so it's not as much of an issue. However, here, do you want to go for the play that rushes Gotha's ult and gamble on him surviving? I I think there's a really good chance he does survive here if I have attack disable, because that limits follow up from Escanor. Uh, can still attack him with Ghost Upgraded Finger Guns and Arthur's, um, what is it? Arthur's, yeah, Upgraded Silver Strike, but uh, he, he survived it last time, man. Like, Gotha is very unlikely to get crit. It does happen, though. <laughs> so, yeah, he's going to go for the Gallon there. Uh, is Gallon going to survive? Gallon's a bit of a beefcake, man. He's got, got some good stats on him, so he tanks it like an absolute champion. Um, and yeah, he's at Escanor's ult now, but the good thing is we get to massively punish. Oh, do I not have King on the Association? One mug. Okay, so, um, that's terrible news. But here, I think we're gonna Arthur buff up. Let's Gallon strip that Gotha. And let's, uh, fire off the drain. I don't think I even had King for the Association yesterday, man. Oh, yeah, I didn't have King for the Association yesterday, because I think in yesterday's initial video, I was running King on the back lines, whereas in today's video, I'm running uh, Griamor on the back lines for more survivability. Because I thought, like, if we're going to go up, if we're going to play PvP at the moment, pro <laughs> in normal, so we're like, nobody is running Blue Demon Melee. So it's like, we'll take that, we'll take that King off, like, not needed. Let's get Griamor, let's get a bit more, a bit more tankiness. But I think that's how the, the PvP meta is maybe going to evolve. It's just like more people using like Griamore and maybe Twiggle on the back. But the reason uh, like King's still really good is he starts some fat off CC. So that certainly uh, does wonders there. However, um... okay, who's probably going to get altered? It's probably going to be Arthur. So I think we're going to attack Disable here. Then we go to nuke that Gotha down. I think that's it. It limits follow up, but the thing is, man, Escanor roll, mm, it does often go Brewer a bit too hard, so I don't know. I think he's also got a single Arthur buff card in his hands. Um so I think here he probably probably goes for the Arthur, maybe goes for the Gotha. Because the thing is, if I can rush a Gotha ult next turn... Actually, I guess he might be able to drain. If I can, like, what is it? Like, upgrade a attack disable card? Then this man's in big trouble. Go for Griamore. Okay. Um... I didn't understand that one. <laughs> That's literally the last target I go for here, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why you go for Griamore. I'm a little bit confused on that one, if I'm honest, Chief. Um, but let's go for upgrade on you know, upgrade, gonna upgrade our actually wait, 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 let's move this around 
upgrade Arthur. And let's chuck this off on Escanor. So, the logic here is that we kill Escanor so he can't drain Gotha. And then we use Gotha's ult next turn. Oh no, you're laughing, mate! How is that man still alive? Oh my goodness, dude. He was, he was on the cusp of the Shadow Realm. He saw into the darkness. How did he return? <laughs> but the craziness, with the Arthur synergy, he just instantly regenerated 7k, 7.2k as soon as the turn started. Oh no, is Daddy's son going to go, bruh? No. Okay, what? I don't know why he's going for Griamore. I'm so confused. He really does not like this Griamore. But that, that works well for me, man. That works very well for me, because I can just go Kaplow, Kachow. Hopefully it gets Arthur down as well. Fingers crossed. And uh, I need to remember after this one to chuck a uh, king on the association. 30% buff. Yeah, there we go, man. Well, uh, that was certainly uh, an interesting match, but uh, well played there, Capo. I don't know if we um, actually fought that dude in the uh, the very first match. I'll go for the friendship one as well. Oh, okay, he's forfeited already. Uh, but that, that was a cool match, man. We, we're, we're two for two winning with Gallant. All right, so we've just skipped ahead a few matches. We had just some really uneventful bot matches. We got another red Escanor. We get to go first as well. So chuffed about that one. Can we get another Arthur card? Unfortunately not. So here, we, we still got attack to save all those. That's a pretty solid little uh, entry play. And I think here, start building to Arthur's ult. I think so. So let's attack the Sable and then smack into Gotha. There's no point ever attacking into Red Escanor while he has his, um, like, buff at the start of the fight just because he's got, like, crazy regen. However, dude, that is a very nice follow-up play. I shouldn't be dead. Okay, what's he doing? Merging on Gotha, upgrade everybody. Maybe? Or attack the Sable? Oh. Play is not going to age too well there, Chief. Especially considering you've just petrified your ghost there for a couple of turns. So let's upgrade Arthur there. That's that's a that's a clutch upgrade, man. Yeah. Let's go for that. Let's upgrade and do you want to strip buffs just yet? I th I think we strip the buff now, just because even when he does get to use his amplifier, it's like less damage. So he's probably going to, like, Arthur buff and then do something with Escanor, but at least it mitigates the damage a bit. I was hoping we could draw another one, but we didn't, so that's, <laughs> that's really annoying. We had so many cards to draw there. Uh, he might drain here, though. There's a good chance. So he's going to... Uh, got the attack increase. Going to go for a drain. That's potentially good if we can draw a buff removal. And then blast into Gotha there. Okay. Now, the opponent's Gotha is out of CC. Oh, this is a tough time, man. I think... Do we just got to send, like, everything? Try and get that Gotha down? I think so. I think we use the Gallon card here. Should be enough, man. Oh, no, it's not going to be enough, is it? <sighs> no! <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, how is that not enough, bro? It's really underwhelming. Really underwhelming damage. The problem with this Galland is you've got no, um, no, like, proper burst or reach. Even with gold buffs, bro, like, three cards wasn't enough. Man, that is, <laughs> that's rubbish. That's so bad. Okay, well, the good news here is that we can maybe trick him into uh, a stupid play. So let's go for upgrade on Gotha here. We, we're not going to get petrified. And then we attack the Sable. And then let's smack in on... I think Gallon's actually dealt a little bit more just because it's shatter damage. So yeah, let's go, let's go for that. We're going to attack the Sable. Okay, nice. So, the only way he can remove this attack disable, actually, he might have, he might have a gold that he can merge. <laughs> oh, no. That's like, gold's his only hope. Okay, he's got silver. 
Oh, it's a silver one of those. Okay, no worries. No worries. And then he's got uh, a buff that he's going to use on Escanor and another buff that he's also going to use on Escanor. Why did he double buff the Escanor there? Why didn't he just buff himself? Still very confused at that one. But <laughs> fair play. Um, right, let's go for this and this, I believe. We don't need the attack disable, I think. Yeah, because Hauser's card shouldn't be able to uh, kill anybody. I think he might have a Hauser card or, or another Arthur buff card. But hopefully he goes for Arthur. If he goes for Arthur, we are, we're are we laughing here. We're having a great time. Oh, no. We went for Gotha. That's annoying. That is a little bit annoying. Well, the good news is that Arthur and Galen, they've, they, they've still got some pretty good health. <laughs> so they're doing all right. Um, I think maybe we, if we had the ability to, like, strip his buffs, he's got, like, 100,000, man. God, we didn't kill the last one either. We got a gold buff. We got a gold buff, man. If we just chuck in all the damage. we we got to be able to sla slap Big Daddy Eskinor down. Or he's just going to wreck us. Oh, come on. Okay, Arthur's all you've done some magical stuff before. Let's see it again. Okay, Gallant, the follow-up. Let's go, bro. We're going for that gold tier promotion. 22k, that's it. Just a little bit, a little bit. Yes, that's it. Finally. Gallant best counter confirmed. <laughs> uh, it's a bit jammy, man. A bit jammy. Okay, we can get Gallant's ult next turn and remove Hauser's buffs. So this this is a good match, man. This is a really good match. So let's strip strip those buffs off uh, Hauser there. Let's um, then I don't think we want to use the Shadow card. We just want to use double Arthur cards. Actually, let's strip. Let's remove those buffs over there. Then I'm actually gonna I think just nuke into Arthur because Arthur's a bit more of a um, problem when it comes to. Um, uh, end of match scenarios in comparison to Hauser, because if Arthur gets his ult, he's kind of got like a pick of who he can one shot. <laughs> so if we chip him down a bit, then follow up with like Gallon's ult next turn, we should be able to get Arthur down. And Arthur just has like some pretty crazy regen as well. Man just heals up like there is no tomorrow. So let's go for Gallon's ult, and then we'll have the 50% buff to stats, fire off the shatter, just as a bit of a follow up if needed. Go for the Arthur card. Hopefully we can draw a bronze Griamore punch into the opponent card. Okay, nice. So we can nicely merge that one into uh, gold on Griamore. That would be perfect. Because if we can rush Griamore's ult... Um... Yeah, it looks like we, we are going to have to take House's ult next turn, I think. Uh, we're, we're gonna try and kill him. We'll, we'll try. We've got like 50% more damage on Gallant. Let's go, Gallant. <laughs> he is... It's a bit of a noodle, man. Bit of a noodle. Uh, yeah. Gallant... Gallant was literally like unplayable on JP. He is, he is kind of playable-ish on Global. He just, um... There's like no car. Like Blue Gallant, he has the Amplify cards. The Amplify cards are really, really good to fire off. <gasps> oh yeah, Hauser petrifies himself after his ult. Because uh, he ranks down skills. But uh, we're, about, we're about to break him out anyway, so <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but yeah, fun little interaction there, man. There we go. Big wins. Red Gallant, top meta champion confirmed. We are three for three in Red Escanor matchups today. So we are oh, we're doing all right, mate. We're doing all right. Another, another win in the basket, but I think we'll go for one one more Escanor match. I don't think we actually had the craziest start on um, that match in particular there. But playing Gallant today, man, it's it's really making me miss Red Escanor. I just, uh, dude, that Amplify card is ridiculous. It's so much fun. But let's see. Who are we going to be fighting next? So the next... The next challenger, the next opponent, is going to be a red Escanor. Red Esc actually might be a green Escanor, but I don't know. It depends what costume he's chucked on. Yeah, it is a uh, uh, a red one. Hmm. Question is, what would we like to go for here? It 
everything feels like a bit of a waste, but I think we just go for... Uh, let's chuck the shout out. I'm just going to remove that initial buff as well. So we still got a card to remove buffs next turn. Ideally, I wanted to save both for next turn, but I feel like, you know, the rank up's valuable. I don't want to petrify myself. Okay, those are not the cards I wanted to see. But let, let's see what he goes for. Double go through rank up. Double go through rank up. You want to fall for that trap, bro? I'm, I'm here for it. I am here for it. He's thinking about, oh, no, he's got the perfect play. <laughs> oh. oh, no, he hasn't got the perfect play. Oh, maybe he has got the perfect play. Yeah, he has got the perfect play. Oh, yeah. He's got the perfect play. Right, well, the good news is, uh, Cruel Danny Sunshine goes, bro, a little bit less hard. Hmm. I still think we want to hold on to the Gotha card. So let's nuke him a gallon there. And I think we chuck off the Arthur card as well. We, we get Gallon's ult next turn. So maybe we can use that to get Escanor down. Um, that Arthur potentially troublesome, man. Potentially troublesome. Okay, interesting. We've had we've had a lot of a lot of these gallon shatter cards knocking about. Hmm. Oh, I thought I thought Gotha was gonna get petrified there. Oh no, he's got the train. Oh yeah, that's annoying. Okay, buff removal. No buff removal. We got gold buff. I feel like it might be a bit too late for this, <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go for it anyway, man. We haven't really got, like, much else we can do. Uh, so we want to upgrade Arthur, gold on everybody, and then, um, yeah, maybe Arthur doesn't one-shot. Maybe Arthur does not one-shot, but the thing is, he's probably got some crazy combo with, um, oh, God. Actually, we, we should be quite tanky. We got a gold buff here. We got Green Moore on the sub. It's going to go for my Gallant. Come on, Gallant. You can take that ult like a man. There we go. 96k to the face. But then dead from the next cards. That was annoying. All my Gallant cards. Just massive rip. Is Gotha going to get clapped as well? Gotha is uh, in... Not a good place. <laughs> Not in a good place at all. Um, well, the good news is, man, we're actually about to just win the game of this play. So uh, that's amazing news. Um, do I want to upgrade everything? It feels a bit wasted. I think we upgrade Gotha. And then we give this attack to Sable. So if he has, like... If you can get a gold buff and use an Escanor Drain, I'm in massive trouble, <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, so he's got Tag Disable. He's got one Arthur card on Griamor. Why does everybody go for that Griamor today, man? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Okay, so let's go for the Drain there, and then I think might as well cycle and upgrade, and then go for an Arthur card. Do you want to get Escanor down, or... Let's use this opportunity to try and get Escanor down. Hopefully, like, go through a gold buff, man. Just kills them both. That'd be sweet. Yes! Oh, wow. Come on, Arthur. You got this, bro. This is a gold card. You got gold buff, son. You can get a KO. There we go. Look at that. Man of the match. Well, Gallant is the best champion confirmed, guys. Um, You know, if we hadn't have removed that gold turn one, bro, you know, Escanor would have been going, bro, just absolutely uh, destroy us. So, got beyond God tier. <laughs> there we go. I can't believe we made so many Red Escanor players forfeit today, man. That is genuinely surprising. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I th Gallon definitely, like, he has some nice utility for slowing down Escanor teams. I don't know if I'd, like, really, like, recommend him. Because uh, his, his damage and just playing the character, everything does feel, like, a bit underwhelming. I think instead of if we had that um, 
uh, Shatter card. If Gallant himself had a friggin' Amplify card here, this character would be crazy. He'd be so good at fighting like Mono Red with Mono Red. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd like to see that card just be replaced with like the Amplify one, because honestly, that would make him so much more spicy, because Shatter is just a, a really underwhelming like secondary effect. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed today's uh, Red Gallant PvP video, and if you did, if you do me a massive favor and smash that like button, that'd be greatly appreciated. But aside from that, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.